Ferreira Fire Apparatus started 20 years ago when a volunteer fireman named Chris Ferreira began building equipment and trucks that he and his fellow firefighters could depend on. Today, Ferreira fireworkers, most of whom are firefighters themselves, concern themselves foremost with one top priority, safety. Safety of the men and women who ride their trucks going into dangerous situations. That's why in March 2003, Ferreira Fire Apparatus built an extreme testing facility on site and retained the services of a renowned systems engineer. Ferrero wanted to verify that the additional extras he and his crew were building into each truck were truly beneficial. Beyond consumer cars and trucks, the strictest test to date for vehicular safety of fire trucks is the Economic Commission for Europe Structural Standards, also known as ECE R29. ECE R29 is the European benchmark for crash testing and safety in the commercial trucking industry. ECE R29 involves frontal impact crash testing to simulate head-on collisions and crush testing to directly measure just how safe a crew is inside the cab. In the ECE R29 test conducted at Ferrera, aerospace engineer A.K. Rosenhan conducted and methodically recorded the results and made comparisons to the test results of other manufacturers. As a dramatic show of just how much weight the Ferrera Inferno Igniter cab would be subjected to, our employees placed at the testing site a regular mainstream popular minivan no longer in use and given for this test. Since Ferrera's goal was to verify engineering calculations that our trucks could withstand a total load of 33 tons, that's 66,000 pounds, three times the ECE standard, he and Engineer Rosenhan wanted to get a visual of the crushing power of 66,000 pounds. And now to the test itself. In order to conduct the test, Ferreira hired the services of a 60-ton industrial construction crane. The ECE R29 standard vertical load criteria for the crew cab is 22,000 pounds with iron braces holding up the chassis frame and no load on suspension or tires. Knowing the cab and body could easily break that standard, Ferrera started by placing 26,400 pounds of dead weight concrete on the roof of the Inferno. As recorded by Engineer Rosenhan, the structural integrity of the roof remained completely intact with no damage whatsoever to the Inferno Igniter's crew cab area. Next came the ECE frontal impact test, designed to simulate an 18.2 mile per hour head-on collision with another vehicle by a 3,736 pound pendulum swinging freely from 15 feet in the air. This impact test would calculate to 41,467 foot-pounds of force and is an astounding 127 percent above the ECE R29 test. Heavy chains were used ensuring no recoil effect. The truck would go nowhere. After the crash, all doors of the Inferno Igniter cab opened freely. As required by the testing standard, the cab remained attached to the chassis at all of its mounting points. Rosenhan and cameras immediately inspected all wells and bolts inside the cab. But comparatively speaking, this was all child's play, and at this point, all ECE R29 requirements had been met. But being the industry leader, Ferrera was not satisfied with simply complying with the minimum standards. ECE testing returned to sheer roof strength of the same crew cab. Even though it had been stressed twice already by the initial 13 tons of dead weight and then by the frontal impact. Ferrera Fire Apparatus Incorporated wanted to be the first manufacturer to triple the weight load beyond the ECE standard of 22,000 pounds. To our knowledge, this test is more than any other fire apparatus manufacturer has ever attempted to place on the roof of their cab. Ferrera would now test our truck at 66,000 pounds. With full confidence in our 3 16th inch thick 5052 H32 marine grade aluminum, the industry's highest standard, and cross members and bracing used in our manufacturing process, we were certain the extra strength 
would withstand a test that had never been tried before. The ultimate test of our crew cab integrity had finally come. The 60-ton crane lifted up four separate solid concrete slabs within heavy gauge steel. In fact, picking up the 66,000 pounds was so dangerously beyond the load limits of the crane's footings that the huge 60-ton crane had to be placed next to the fire truck to keep the center of gravity close to the vertical stance. Any fracture, any weak bolt, any deficiency whatsoever at any stress point and the dead weight of 66,000 pounds would have crushed the cab. And finally the cables went slack. The crane then removed the 66,000 pounds and engineer Rosenhan conducted another inspection. Once again, no failure of the cab structure, its mounting, passenger compartment intrusions, or degradation of occupant survival space was found. In short, there was no structural failure whatsoever. open and shut. You can see the seam is about the same. As if 66,000 pounds on the cab was not enough, the crane again lifted the 33 tons and this time placed the weight on the apparatus body. We knew that if our aluminum extrusions, frame and supports withstood the load being placed on the cab, then the likewise reinforced body would withstand the same punishment. It was not required in the ECE R29 standard, and no other fire truck manufacturer in history had ever attempted such a test. After placing the 66,000 pounds on the top of the body, the cables went slack. The body of the Inferno igniter withstood the test, all 66,000 pounds. No structural damage, no buckling, every weld and brace had held. Conclusion? The additional engineering, extrusions, supports, and metal thickness that Chris Ferreira himself, a former firefighter, insists upon for our custom-designed apparatus proved again that the Inferno igniter is truly built like a tank. In Engineer Rosenhan's final report and certified letter, he concluded that the Inferno igniter cab and body had passed all the tests. He noted the testing was three times the ECE standard, more than any fire truck has been subjected to in history. Ferrera Fire's motto is leading the way, and not just in testing. Ferrera feels that a fire truck is a work of art on the outside, but what counts call after call is what's on the inside. The reason the Inferno cab can withstand 66,000 pounds of stress is here. Ferrera's exclusive design of interlocking roof extrusions that frame the top of the cab providing uniform support. Add to that Ferrera's insistence of using the thickest marine grade aluminum in the industry, an exterior of 3 16th inch thick 5052 H32 corrosion resistant aluminum. And it's easy to see why Ferrera is becoming the number one fire truck manufacturer. But the real support goes even deeper. Massive 6061 T6 structural extrusions make up the entire subframe. The outboard uprights, cross beams, and roof perimeter, computer engineered for maximum structural integrity and for a truck that literally will last a lifetime. The Ferrera hallmark of consistently exceeding the standards of fire apparatus manufacturers is what counts when it comes to safety and reliability in a firefighter's job. This attitude transcends to every product manufactured at Ferrera's 200,000 square foot manufacturing plant located in Holden, Louisiana. Here, all Ferrera bodies and chassis systems are designed and engineered in a totally integrated manufacturing system. This means design engineers work directly with production specialists, just a few feet apart, to ensure every detail of a fire department's wishes is carried out, not by telephone, not by email, but face-to-face. -face. This is why Ferrera units consistently set new standards for quality, safety, and styling. Ferrera also offers a complete line of highest quality fire apparatus, including pumpers, platforms, aerials, rescues, tankers, hazmats, and quick attack vehicles in both custom and commercial chassis. 
Further innovations include new 4x4 custom chassis, 100-foot mid-mount platforms, the Inferno low cab, and the Inferno independent front suspension. The new 4x4 features a front cramp angle up to 42 degrees and is designed for rigorous operating environments, greater stability, and superior handling. The Ferrera 100-foot mid-mount platform has the longest horizontal reach of 99 feet at zero degree elevation an operational envelope of minus 6 degrees to plus 72 degrees and all with a travel height of only 10 feet or less. For departments with older, smaller fire stations, Ferrara's new Inferno Low Cab features a notched cab height of only 95 and a half inches with most of the same features of other Ferrara trucks. Ferrara also offers a tilt cab with the lowest possible travel height for rear mounted aerials 11 feet 1 inch for 107 foot aerials, 10 feet 9 inch for 77 foot quints, and 11 feet 5 inches for 100 foot platforms. When it comes to ride and stability, no other manufacturer can touch Ferrara's Inferno independent front suspension. This exclusive design offers a fully independent coil sprung double wishbone suspension, very compact, and takes up far less room than awkward torsion bar systems. Ferrera's exclusive design on the Inferno isolates road forces to ensure maximum load stability and crew comfort. All this best in the industry engineering, design, performance and service combined to prove one thing. Ferrera is leading the way.